babies how are you i hope you are well and being good for mommy and daddy okay teacher ashley is going to read you a story it is called flowey and it is about friendships lucy loved flowers whenever she behaved well something that happened very often because lucy was a very obedient child her mother would take her to the park where there were many flowers, some as small as her cute little fingers and others even as big as her. There was a flower shop in the park. One day, Lucy asked her mother, can I take one? Let me see, let me see, her mother hesitated. Uh, I'll take care of it, Lucy insisted. Hmm, do you promise? Yes, Lucy replied. Then choose one, her mother suggested. Cool, Lucy said. Now Lucy had a problem. Which flower should I take? Out of all of the flowers, Lucy liked one that seemed a little scared. What is your name? Lucy asked. I do not have a name, the flower answered timidly. I will call you Flowey. Flowey, I like it, the flower repeated. Then Lucy proposed. Do you want to come home with me? I will take good care of you and we will be the best friends in the whole world, Lucy said. Wow, that sounded good, Flowey thought. So she said, okay, I will go with you. On the way home, Lucy thought about all the games she was going to teach her new friend. Flowey by her side still did not believe that she had a name just for her. Lucy put Flowey in the most beautiful window in her house where she was going to get the most sun. In the mornings she watered her so that she would be very, very beautiful. Since Lucy liked to dance, she decided to teach her flower how to do so. It is very easy, Lucy said. Um, it's just, I'm a little shy, Flowey hesitated. Come on, come on, Lucy insisted. The flower jumped up to the rhythm of the music. See, you dance very well, Lucy congratulated her. You are a very good teacher, Flowey said. The two friends laughed together and they danced and danced. They also played hide and seek. Six, seven, eight, Lucy said, while Flowey hid behind the garden tree. Nine, ten, I'm coming to get you. I'm here, Flowey said, hurrying out of her hiding place. Do not tell me where you are, or I will find you, Lucy explained to her, laughing out loud. Flowey had not learnt the rules yet. When it was Lucy's birthday, they had a party with cake and everything. The two friends blew out the candles together. She was four years old already. Much later... Lucy's mother realized that Flowey was sick. Hmm, I think someone has not kept her promise. So she called Lucy. When Lucy saw her flower, she got a shock. What happened to Flowey? Did you remember to water her? No, I forgot, Lucy answered. Well, I think Flowey has dried up. Dried up? But what does that mean? Lucy asked. Her mother's silence said everything. Flowey became so sad that she began to wither. Lucy felt so sad too. And she cried and she cried over poor Flowey. She cried so much that she fell asleep. And she dreamt about her friend, her smiling flower, her happy flower. Then someone woke her up. Is that you, mummy? Lucy asked, still sleepy. When she opened her eyes, she realized 
that it was flowy, jumping with joy. You are alive, Lucy said. Your tears have healed me, Flowey answered. Cool, the girl said, really happy. Cool, the flower repeated, also really happy. I will never forget you again, Lucy promised Flowey as she hugged her. And she never did. That's the end of the story, guys. I hope you have a good day. And Teacher Ashley loves you lots. Bye.